Um, hello. So um, I am a professor in writing studies in IS. I am also the co-champion of the Culture Goal, as I told you at the beginning, with Alison Hendricks. Um, I'm actually speaking here today not because I originally intended to. Alice and I put together the list of who we wanted to invite to do these talks. And after we were done, I mentioned a few things that were going on. And she goes, uh, you need to do one of the talks. So, um, so it occurred to me um, I should do one of the talks. I'm not actually talking about something that is part of one of the large initiatives or under one of the auspices of one of our uh, campus offices. It was more stuff that emerged just out of what we call publicly engaged scholarship. And um, I didn't realize I was doing it when I started. Um, it all started with uh, Facebook. So um, I had, you may have all experienced this at one point where you put something on your wall and then everybody starts talking and they get all upset. Yeah, that's what happened. So um, last summer, there was a report from the Pre, uh, Pew Research Foundation about the position of universities in the country. And they showed that a uh, majority of Republicans now think colleges and universities are bad for the country. Well, I'm a college educator, so you can imagine this was concerning to me. Um, I posted it with no commentary. I just posted it. And my wall just got filled with um, friends and family and colleagues from both sides of the aisle arguing um, about what it is we're doing in colleges. And some were concerned that um, every professor here is a um, extreme liberal who's trying to brainwash students to be liberal and if they're a Republican. So um, for me, I realized I I had now entered this conversation and I needed to, to use a teaching moment really and kind of engage with it in a more thoughtful way. So I wrote an op-ed piece which came out in the Seattle Times in November and this was actually part of an initiative. I, I kind of joined some faculty, including Chiron, um, to go do a core seminar through the op-ed project, um, but we weren't part of the big fellows project that the campus did. Um, we did use professional development money though, which was great. and. Um, what ended up happening was a bunch of my friends and colleagues started posting um, my article to their pages and started talking about this in a more thoughtful way. Um, it included research about what it is we really do in college classrooms. And um, the thing I was most interested in talking about was the fact that uh, professors are really interested in helping their, their students to have thoughtful conversations, to uh, become critical thinkers, to communicate, and, um, and the research was showing that actually students, even on the right, were coming out with stronger identities of what they already felt, um, not in fact being changed. So I, I realized I had an opportunity to shift the conversation, and, and I was pretty glad that that was starting to happen. Um, then the next part happened, which got a little scary. Um, I was approached by uh, KVI Talk Radio, and John Carlson wanted to interview me about free speech on campus. And I was like, well, that's not actually what my talk or my paper was about. I was really talking about what we do in the classroom. So I talked, I got some support on campus. I talked to our people here um, in advancement and I said, how do I do this? This is a live radio show. Um, it could be an ambush. <laughs> um, it, there could be perceptions that I'm extremely right or extremely left and that this is gonna be um, an attempt to get me to speak about something in a way um, that could have some real consequences for the university um, and my own career. Um, but I also recognized it was a moment to really do what I was saying, which was have a conversation with people on both sides of, of the aisle, right? So, so I did it, and um, I realized I was engaging in what uh, Jane Compson and uh, 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 who else, Richard, um, are going to talk about with uh, courageous conversations. I, I got in the fray, and it was a difficult conversation, and it, it was a dialogue. It was not an ambush. Um, it did not turn into a heavily heated debate. There were moments, it got a little scary, but um, but for the most part, I was able to have um, an important conversation. I even got text messages from friends I knew who heard me on the radio that had been listening. And they were like, hey, I just heard you. That was cool. We should talk about that over beer. So, um, which brought us to the next thing. Then I was asked um, from uh, the UW Alumni Association and uh, UW Impact, which is the legislative branch of our alumni association, to come and facilitate a talk. Um, it was a pilot project they decided to do called Drinks and Dialogue. And um, it was in Seattle uh, a month ago at the Central Cinema, and it was this one was called Bridging the Divide, um, but there's going to be different topics at some point, and so we brought people together. There was about 90 people, and um, part of the discussion was how do you talk with people in your life who have opposing views, and I'm not an expert, and I told them that as well, um, but all of us are doing this work, and if we're going to do it, we need to stay open and find ways to do that, so I realize I'm a rhetoric professor. I study communication, I study online communication. Um, I figure it's time to kind of use my powers for good in this way. So I'm working on that. 
Um, so the next step for me after this um, engagement and just community conversations is finding ways to continue the conversation. So there's some stuff on the agenda. Um, I've been approached by the Office of Global Affairs and the Office of Equity and Inclusion, and we're looking at doing an event here on campus in the spring. And um, it looks like the Alumni Association also wants to do a community event in Tacoma. So and they are even talking about something maybe on the other side of the mountains. I don't know. Um, but this is kind of growing, and it was a little unexpected, but I realize it's important. And as somebody who's really um, uh, very invested in the culture on our campus and knowing it's been a really difficult uh, couple years to have difficult conversations, um, I want to I want to find a way to do that. So um, this is the work I'm doing. If people want to get involved, um, please do um, check in with check in with me. I'd love to chat with you about it. Um, thanks for your time and your ear. Thanks.